Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and this is to answer a question that I get from time to time. I got it again last 24 hours, and it's about the Windows activation on multiple computers. So um, the situation and what we talk about here is about Windows 10 and 11 activation and the fact that if you change the hard drives and swap the hard drive into another PC, you cannot use the same install on that PC because it will actually say it is not activated. It won't recognize that it is activated. And the reason why is the Windows install, when you have it on one PC, the way that the activation works, it's a digital license that checks serial numbers and uh, the hardware that you have. Minor changes will not have an effect changing the graphics adapter changing um, you know the um, adding memory or changing the hard drive and stuff like that is not going to alter or change that activation because it's not a change that's big enough now changing a cpu or changing many parts at the same time could actually trigger an activation problem now the question here is i got three pcs and I installed a new SSD and an older one, and I decided that um, I take the SSD from the um, older one and put it in a, in a computer where there was no SSD, it was an old R drive, but it still runs Windows 10. So the logic we hit between that is, well, it already runs Windows 10, so I should be able to just swap the hard drive. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that for multiple reasons. First of all, the PCs might be different. So if you have different hardware, and even if it's the same model PC, one of the things you got to remember is that the serial number of all the parts are different. So Windows will not recognize the activation. It thinks that it's still in the old PC. If you have multiple PCs and start swapping hard drives in them, you will need to actually have the same exact install of Windows. So either that you uh, create an image and put the image back when you reinstall with a new hard drive, or you reinstall Windows from scratch so it can recognize that that PC is activated with a digital license. But swapping hard drives from one PC to the other with an existing Windows 10 install in most cases will result in a failure to activate because it doesn't recognize the PC anymore. So that's why you got to start from scratch. It's got to do its own checks and then it's got to look at the digital license and then it will activate once again. So it's a, one of those little things that's a little complicated, but it's the way that it works. And uh, of course, um, Windows 11 continues using the same specifications on Windows 10 on the activation. It's a digital license linked to your computer. So if you do reinstall, well, you don't need a key or anything. It will recognize that it was already uh, activated as long as you have the same version. So if it's a home version, you have to have the home version. If it's the pro version, it needs to be the pro version. You cannot change version or it will not activate. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.